tulikubaliana na nyinyi watu wa lakini pia wakati tulisimama hapa kwa round about tukakubaliana ya kwamba baada ya uchaguzi kazi ndio itaendelea na tulikubaliana kitendawili haitaanza ni kweli ama si kweli na kwa sababu tulikubaliana kazi ndio itaendelea mimi nawashukuru sana kwa sababu rekodi tuko nayo ni kwamba kazi ya wananchi katika kaunti yetu ya Laikipia inapiga hatua ya kwenda mbele tulikubaliana kwanza ya kwamba kila mtoto wa Kenya apate nafasi ya kusoma na hatutaki mtoto abaki nyumbani kwa sababu hakuna usalama ama kwa sababu hakuna mpango ya kutosha ya masomo ya, wata, ya watoto wetu na ndio sababu mwaka uliopita tumeweka pesa nyingi zaidi katika mpango wa elimu ya watoto wa Kenya tumeajiri walimu 1056 wapya kusomesha watoto wa taifa letu la Kenya mimi nawauliza watu wa Laikipia tena nirudie kila chief kila assistant county commissioner kila county commissioner na viongozi wote wa makanisa na vijiji tuhakikishe kila mtoto ambaye amefika umri wa kwenda shule anaenda shuleni kwa sababu tumeweka pesa nyingi kama serikali kwa masomo ya watoto wa Kenya na hakuna ile jambo tunaweza kuwapatia watoto wetu the greatest empowerment any society or any nation can give to its citizen is empowerment through education tunaweka pesa kila mwaka bilioni 650 kusomesha watoto wa Kenya wewe kama mzazi kama unachelewesha mtoto wako ajaenda shule utakuwa unaenda hasara kwa sababu serikali tayari imeweka pesa ya kutosha kusomesha watoto wa Kenya kama kutakuwa na matatizo ya school uh, ya, ya, ya school fees ama malipo ya shuleni tuko na mpango tofauti county wako na basari wabunge tumewapatia pesa nyingi ya basari ili tuhakikisha kwamba hakuna mtoto wa Kenya anakosa kwenda shule kwa sababu mzazi hana uwezo jambo la pili Tulikubaliana na nyinyi ya kwamba hatuwezi kuwa ni nchi huru ili hali tuko katika mtego na tuko katika mahali ambapo ni nchi ambayo imeshikwa mateka na njaa. Tukakubaliana lazima tusaidie wakulima. Lazima tuwe na mpango ya sawa sawa. Kuhakikisha kwamba tunazalisha chakula ya kutosha ndio Kenya iweze kupata chakula tuondoe njaa katika taifa letu. Na washukuru sana watu wa Laikipia hasa wakulima kwa bidii yenu. Nyinyi mnaelewa leo katika taifa letu la Kenya. Kwa sababu Mungu ametubarikia na mvua. Nyinyi wakulima mmeweka bidii. Na serikali pia tumehakikisha kwamba kuna mbolea na tumepunguza bei. Ile ilikuwa inauzwa elfu sita saa hizi inapatikana kwa elfu mbili na mia tano. Kwa sababu ya hiyo kolabo ya wakulima serikali na Mungu ametupatia mvua leo bei ya chakula katika taifa letu la Kenya imeshuka ile ilikuwa mbili na karibu arobaini saa iko hapa karibu mia moja saa hizi na mimi nataka niwahakikishie hiyo mpango tutaendelea nayo mpaka kabisa tuhakikishe ya kwamba mambo ya njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya tunashughulikia kikamilifu vile vile nyinyi watu wa Laikipia mumenieleza ya kwamba na nimekutana na viongozi wenu vile naibu rais amesema kuna jambo mlituuliza ya muhimu zaidi hapa Laikipia mlituambia mko na matatizo mawili ambayo ni sugu hapa Laikipia ya kwanza ni mambo ya usalama mimi nataka niwaambie hivi kwa sababu nilichukua ahadi kwenu na nikawaambia hii jambo la usalama sio la kipya peke yake 
taifa lote la Kenya ni lazima kama nchi ambayo tumepata uhuru na tunajitawala hatuweze kukubali watu wachache waangaisha wananchi na watukoseshe mambo ya usalama na ndio sababu hiyo tumeweka mpango kamili pale nyuma tulikuwa na matatizo askari wetu hawakukuwa na equipment ya kutosha ama vifaa ya kutosha tumeweka mpango ya karibu bilioni 25 kununua equipment mpya ya polisi wetu na walinda usalama sasa niko na equipment ya kutosha hawa wakora chuma chao kimotoni mimi nataka niwahakikishie ya kwamba hawa watu wa kuangaisha wananchi tutawashughulikia kikamilifu tumeleta hapa national police reserve 360 habari niko nayo ni kwamba mambo ya usalama hapa imeshughulikiwa karibu asilimia sabini themanini lakini kuna sehemu ambayo bado hatujakamilisha mimi nawatangazia hapa leo ya kwamba tutaongeza police wa national eh, police reserve miambili hamsini wengine mpango yetu ikiwa ni kwamba kila kona kila kijiji kila mahali ambapo kuna matatizo ya usalama tutakuwa na askari wa polisi tutakuwa na askari wa NPR na tutakuwa na vifaa ya kutosha I want to give you my word and commitment we are going to secure Laikipia county as we secure all the other counties of the Republic of Kenya Nikiwa hapa Laikipia viongozi wamesema Laikipia na Samburu ni Siamese twins na mimi nakubali Nyinyi mambo yenu inaendelea inaendelea sambamba ile kazi tunafanya hapa ya kuhakikisha kwamba tunaweka usalama ndio tunafanya kule Samburu and i want to tell the people of Samburu from Laikipia that we have a commitment as government we are going to make sure that Samburu is safe we are going to make sure that Turkana Baringo West Pokot um, uh, Elgeyo Marakwet is safe I have given very firm instructions on this northern part of Kenya from Elgeyo Marakwet through West Pokot kupitia hapa kwenu all the way mpaka Isiolo tuhakikishe ya kwamba wale watu bandits tutakabiliana na wao and I want to give you my word hii mnaona kelele kelele kidogo hii ni the last kicks of a dying horse we are going to finish with these people and we are going to secure our country kwa sababu hakuna vile mambo inaweza kwenda mbele kama wananchi hawana usalama lazima tuweke na tudhibiti mambo ya usalama na wauliza viongozi na wauliza wananchi tushirikiane musifiche wakora musifiche wezi musifiche wale wanatuaribia mambo ya usalama kama mtu ni mkora kama ni bandit kama ni mwizi wa ngombe mtuambie ndio tukabiliane na yeye tuko na mahali ya kupeleka wezi wote na mnajua ni mahali gani sina namna hiyo yes mlituambia tena jambo la pili ya muhimu hapa laikipia mlituambia ya kwamba wanyama wa pori wanawasumbua sana wanaharibu mimea yenu wanavuna mahali hawajapanda vile mmesema wanyama wengine wanakuja wanakula eh, mifugo yenu na saa zingine wanaua mpaka wananchi na sababu hiyo ndio leo nimefika hapa kuwaeleza ya kwamba ile ahadi tuliwapatia ya kwamba tutashughulikia hiyo jambo ya human wildlife conflict ndio tumefika hapa leo hapa Marmanet nilikuja mwaka ule mwingine nikiwa naibu wa rais tukaweka ua ama fence katika Marmanet forest leo tumekujia zile mizitu ambayo imebakia hapa kwenu tutajenga kilomita moja mpya ya ua ya stima ambayo itazuia hawa wanyama wakae porini na nyinyi muendelee na kilimo na maisha yenu 
mimi natoa amri kwa wizara wafanye mapping ya all areas that require fencing ili tuwe na mpango kamili kama serikali ya vile tutahakikisha in the next five years we must have fenced of all our forest all our areas that require fencing so that we can eliminate the challenge of human wildlife conflict and the attendant problems and challenges and financial implications that come with that problem so mutua na team yako mutupatie hesabu ya kilomita ngapi ya fence inatakikana pesa ngapi inatakikana ndio tupange vile tutahakikisha kwamba hii problem tunaiondoa kwa kikamilifu na isirudi tena ikaangaisha wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya so watu wa Laikipia mimi nataka muelewe na mjue ya kwamba tumeweka hiyo mpango kamili vizuri na mimi nataka muelewe ya kwamba tutashirikiana pamoja na nyinyi katika kuhakikisha kwamba hiyo kazi yote inasonga mbele hapa vile vile ndio tumefika na mambo ya compensation kuanzia 2018 karibu miaka saba hatujapata nafasi ama serikali haijatoa pesa ya compensation last year tulitoa milioni mia tisa. leo nimefika hapa katika hiyo mpango ya wananchi wengine ambao tutawalipa kuanzia leo shilingi milioni mia tisa na sitini. Mimi nataka niwatangazie hivi ya kwamba kama tunataka kuhakikisha kwamba wananchi wanajumuishwa na wanajumuika katika kuhakikisha ya kwamba wanyama wanaishi na sisi zote tunaishi kwa pamoja ni lazima wananchi wawe katikati ya mpango ndio wananchi wawe beneficiaries wa kwanza kwa mambo ya wanyama wa pori na ndio sababu hiyo we must be definite and intentional on making sure that the whole conservation idea and concept has people citizens at the core and at the center of any meaningful sustainable conservation agenda plan and effort and that is why we've come here to do three major things number one to make sure that we implement our plan on fencing to make sure that in areas where there is potential for human wildlife conflict we have a proper fencing mechanism that separates human beings from wildlife so that we can eliminate the attendant costs of human wildlife conflict that plan is not just about like kipia we are going to construct mutua has said 350 kilometers my information mr mutua looking at the numbers you can do 400 kilometers and i know you have the capacity to navigate and innovate and build 400 kilometers with the 300 million shillings that you have i want you to plan on the whole program so that we know how much fence do we need to put up how much it costs so that we can have a plan in the next five years we must conclude the program of fencing and make sure that we eliminate this challenge of human like wildlife conflict in a meaningful way and also use it as an opportunity for us to restore our degraded um, conservation areas especially in our water towers and water catchment areas and wetlands jambo la pili vile vile tumefika hapa leo ni kuhakikisha kwamba we move forward the needle on matters conservation and by making sure that we roll out our compensation plan and program last year it was started in taita tabeta county today we have moved it here to laikipia county and my instructions are as follows we have close to 17000 
already assessed and verified cases of human wildlife conflict with a cost of 7 billion shillings. We have so far compensated 4 billion shillings by the end of this compensation today. The others that are pending, almost 7,000 cases that have already been ver verified, my instructions are we should compensate those people in the next 60 days. We shouldn't wait for another one year. So, Bwana Mutua, team yako, na wale wote ambao muko katika hiyo space, tumekubaliana na nyinyi, muende mketi chini, kuna kazi lazima ifanyike, nimemwambia leader of majority awa shugulikie kule bunge, Bwana Kareke na team yako muko hapa, mukamilishe maneno ya uh, ile regulations so that in the next six day in the next 60 days we should compensate another 7000 Kenyans who require 3 billion shillings so that we can ensure that we build confidence between the public and conservation so that we can recruit them knowing very well that if wildlife get into their way if wildlife destroy their property, if wildlife are engaged in human beings, there is a mechanism for people to be compensated. Vile vile, munajua tumebadilisha sheria sasa. Zamani, mutu wakiwawa na ndovu alikuwa analipwa shilingi elifu miambili. Tumesema kama serikali sasa, mwananchi akiwawa na ndovu tunamulipa shilingi milioni tano. Na mwa, eh, ndo, eh, ama mnyama yeyote Na pale mbele Hapo katikati mwananji ya kiumizwa na ndovu Tumeweka graduation Ngine watalipwa milioni tatu Ngine milioni mbili Kama mekumiza zaidi Tunapigisha milioni ine Bora ujasafiri kuenda ile safari ya mbele Ya kuenda mbali Bora bada huko area Tunakushugulikia Sinamu na hiyo Na vile vile mambo ya snake bites Na yale mengine so tunapangana pamoja na nyinyi vile vile tumekubaliana ya kwamba vile nimesema hapa ndani ya siku sitini wale wote ambao wamefanyiwa assessment na wamefanyiwa verification watu karibu elfu saba tutawalipa pesa yenu ya fidia ndani ya siku sitini ndio tuhakikishe ya kwamba tunaweka uhusiano mzuri kati ya wananchi na mbuga zetu za wanyama wapori na wanyama wapori wenyewe vile vile mimi nataka tukubaliane vile tutasonga mbele pamoja hapa tena tunaanzisha mpango mpya niliwaambia mambo tumekujia hapa ni matatu sio yale nilisema mbeleni mengine hapa ya, ya conservation Ya kwanza ni mambo ya fencing Na tu, sio fence tunaweka hapa la kipi ya peke yake Tunaweka katika at least six of the counties That contribute the most in this challenge of human wildlife conflict So jambo la pili tumekujia mambo ya compensation Jambo la tatu tumekuja hapa ni kuanzisha mpango mpya Kawaida mwananchi akipata matatizo ili apate fidia safari ya kupata fidia inakuwa safari ngumu sana hata inashinda ile safari ya kwenda mbinguni Unaenda kwa chief unaenda kwa huyu unatafuta warden unaenda kwa wengine hapo unarudi nyuma sasa tumehamazisha ili mwananchi akipata matatizo Sasa tutakuwa na mtandao ya kureport incident na kuhakikisha kwamba tunarahisisha mwananchi alipwe fidia kwa muda mfupi mtu hawezi kuwa ameumizwa na ndovu alipo anangojea miaka 5 miaka 10 atinjapata pesa yake tunataka hii kazi ifanyike haraka ndani ya miezi chache mtu ambaye wamepata hasara kama ni wanyama kama umepoteza wanyama uh, wakulima uh, umepoteza mifugo yako ama umepoteza mimea yako ama mwananchi ameumizwa 
iwe ni kazi ambayo inafanya kazi inafanywa kwa hali ya haraka so tutashirikiana and that is the program we are also launching here sasa tutakuwa na vijana working with communities ndio tuhakikishe ya kwamba kazi hiyo inafanyika kwa muda ambayo inafaa vile vile ili kuhakikisha ya kwamba wanyama tuko na askari wa kutosha kuhakikisha kwamba wanyama wetu wanakaa pale eh, kwenye mbuga zetu na sehemu ya misitu vile vile tumeweka mpango kuanzia Jumatatu tunaajiri game rangers ama askari wa wanyama elfu moja na mia tano wapya na amri yangu ni kwamba zile counties ambazo ziko na shida hii ya mbuga za wanyama kama vile like Kipia wapatiwe affirmative action wawe na vijana wengi zaidi kuliko zile counties zingine kwa sababu wao ndio wanaelewa mambo ya wanyama na wao ndio wanaelewa machungu ya mbuga za wanyama ama wanyama wakienda kuharibu mali ya wananchi hiyo kazi ikiendelea wana director general na waziri muhakikishe ya kwamba tunaendelea hiyo barabara vile vile nimesema katika hiyo mpango ya ajira pia tuwe na mpango ya sawasawa kuhakikisha kwamba wale wanapatiwa nafasi ya kwanza sehemu kubwa ni wale vijana wetu ambao wamehitimu kutoka NYS we want those young people from NYS to get an opportunity to serve as i issued instructions in maneno ya security sector so that tuendelee na hiyo maneno vile vile nikiwa hapa like kipia tuko na kazi zingine nyingi na mimi nitaenda kidogo na nitarudi tena hawa viongozi kuna mambo tumekubaliana na wao viongozi wenu wa Laikipia kuna mambo ya barabara wamenieleza kuna mambo ya stima wamenieleza kuna mambo ya maji wamenieleza kuna mambo yale ya maendeleo mengine tumekubaliana tutaketi chini tuweke priority list ndio ile pesa nikipata niweze kupangia hii ndio ya kwanza hii ndio inafuata hiyo ingine inafuata maelewana jameni so mambo hiyo yote nimekubaliana na wao kwa mambo ya stima kwa sababu mwananchi mmoja aliniuliza pale mheshimiwa stima ndio inatuletea matatizo mimi nataka ni watangazie watu wa Laikipia tuko na milioni tano ya kusambaza stima kwa watu wa Laikipia katika mwaka huu na nikitengeneza budget nyingine mwezi wa sita tutaona vile tutawaongezea pesa ya stima ndio tuweze kuwafikishia stima Nataka ni muulize governor aende aketi chini na waziri wangu bwana Njeru wa maji kwa sababu tuko na mpango na waegezaji na marafiki na washirika wetu ili tuwatupatie tujue priorities ya watu wa hapa Laikipia kwa mambo ya maji na mimi naomba pia wabunge waandamane na governor so that we have a priority list kwa mambo ya maji because we are beginning the program of water going into the future tukiwa tukamilishe zile ambazo zinaendelea saa hizi alafu tuwe na mpango ya zile ambazo zitafuata vile vile um, nikiwa hapa rumuruti mimi nataka niwapongeze watu wa Laikipia tulikubaliana ya kwamba county headquarters itakuja hapa rumuruti si ni kweli mimi nampongeza governor na county wamekuja hapa rumuruti Mumesema ya kwamba mnataka ofisi ya county commissioner pia ikuje hapa. Hiyo nitashughulikia. Ndio county commissioner akuje hapa na ofisi ya serikali iwe hapa. Mimi najua ya kwamba hii town sasa ya Rumuruti itaendelea na kuelekea kuwa city. Si namna hiyo? Kwa sababu county headquarters ziko hapa. Kwa hivyo kama serikali katika ile program yetu ya housing mkisoma katika gazeti ya leo tumetangaza tutajenga nyumba elfu moja hapa Rumuruti hiyo kandarasi tumetangaza leo ndani ya wiki tatu wiki ine itakuwa ime, iko tayari tutahitaji vijana karibu elfu mbili wa kufanya hiyo kazi sijui kama vijana wa hapa Rumuruti wako tayari ama nyinyi ni watu ni watu wa kuchagua jembe 
Muko tayari? Bwana siki sauti ya vijana wa Rumuruti, muko tayari? Muko tayari? So, iyo program ya housing, ya hapa Rumuruti, nyumba elfu moja, itaanza in the next one month. Tume tangaza kandarasi, pia, hapa Rumuruti, tutakuwa na soko kubwa, inaitua municipal market. Tutapangana na huyu governor wenu, na marafiki wetu, tuko na milioni miatatu ya kujenga hiyo soko kubwa ya watu wa Rumuruti. Na leo tena mkisoma gazeti, tumetangaza soko ya hapa Rumuruti. Nyinyi mungo tayari kwa hiyo maneno? Tunataka tukizuia wanyama wakae porini, nyinyi muzalishe chakula, tuwajengee soko mulete sokoni, tuuze iende inje, na injine iende kwa manyumbayenu, tuzalishe chakula, tuondoe njake. Tumakubaliana? Vile vile, wiki mbili zilizopita, tulitangaza kandarasi ya kujenga nyumba elfu mbili pale nyahururu. Saa hizi tunaendelea kujenga nyumba zingine kule na nyuki. Na tuko na mpango in different towns, hapa like Kipia. Kwa sababu, hizo ujenzi wa manyumba ndio itatupatia na fasi ya, ya, ya kuajiri hawa vijana. Mimi ni kiongea na nyinyi saa hizi, Kenya mzima. Tuko na vijana zaidi ya elfu miyamoja arbaini wanafanya kazi katika program ya housing. Kwa sababu nilikubaliana na nyinyi, lazima tuwe na mpango ya serikali ya kuzalisha ajira. Njyo vijana wetu wapate mahali ya kuchishikilia, waweze kufanya kazi, wajisimamie, wasimamie familia zao na tuweze kujenga Kenya kwa pamoja. Bile bile tumekubaliana. Sasa tutaanza registration ya Social Health Insurance Fund. Tulikubaliana na governor hapa, tutakuwa na community health promoters. Hawa community health promoters, hawa mnaona wako na nguwe ya blue hapa na wengine. Karibu, wako angapi governor naikipia? Elfu moja na mia moja hawa community health promoters. Na tutaanza kulipa hawa pesa zao na watushugulikie kila kijiji. Tunataka tuwe na community health promoter ambaye atashugulikia mambo ya afya ya wananchi. Watatupatia habari matatizo ni gani, magonjwa ni gani, hospitali gani iko na shida, dispensary gani iko na shida, health center gani inaitaji nini. Ndiyo tuwakikisha ya kwamba mwananchi apate huduma ya matibabu. Vile vile munajua sasa tumebadilisha sheria. Na sheria mpya tutaanza kufanya registration ya wananchi. Mimi na wauliza wananchi. Hiyo program ikianza muwe mustari ya mbele. Kwa sababu hiyo program ndio itaakikisha ya kwamba hakuna mkenya tena. Atauza mali yake ama auze ngombe ama auze shamba atiaende alipe bili ya hospitali. Mambo ya hospitali itashugulikiwa na mpango ya serikali tukienda mbele. It is a commitment we made to the people of Kenya. It is a commitment we intend to keep. And that is how we are going to move the country forward. So, wananchi wa Laikipia, mimi nimefurai sana kufika hapa siku ya leo. Nataka nipongeze all the people involved in this space. Nilikuwa na tarifa hapa ya kusoma. Lakini nimefurai ya kwamba mambo yale mengine yote nimeasema na nafikiri tumekubaliana ya kwamba tutasonga mbele tukiwa pamoja. I want to emphasize that as an administration, our plan is to ensure that conservation is sustainable. And for it to be sustainable, it must be a partnership between government, the people, private sector, conservation uh, agencies, and all of us must work together and put the people at the center of our plan to make sure that whatever benefits accrue, the people must be in the sharing formula. We must make sure that the people are central to our compensation plan so that the people can see the benefit of working with conservation to ensure that it is sustainable and it is 
beneficial to both conservators, but most importantly, to the people themselves. So, tutashirikiana hivyo, tutafanya kazi hivyo kwa pamoja, na mimi nataka ni wakikishia watu wala kipia hii safari, tunatembea kwa pamoja. So, mimi sitaenda muda murefu sana, nitarudi tena hapa la kipia, mimi na watakia heli. Na mimi na furai sana watu wala kipia, nyinyi ni watu wa maana kwa sababu munaishi pamoja kama ndugu moja. La kipia hapa, tuko na jamii nyingi, na hawa jamii wote wanaishi kama ndugu moja watu wa taifa moja taifa la Kenya. Na mimi nataka ni wakikishie serikali ya Kenya itasimama kidete na nyinyi ya kikisha kwamba haki ya watu wa laikipia inapatikana, watoto wenu wanasoma, munafanya biashara, munazalisha kilimo, tunajenga uchumi, ndio Kenya iweze kusonga mbele tukiwa pamoja. So asanteni sana watu wa laikipia, ninawapenda sana na watakia heri, mungu wa bariki. Thank you very much. God bless you. One, two.